In this video, we're going to take a look at some of these scripting and uh, macro writing capabilities of CAM 350. Now, this video is not meant to teach you how to do that. Uh, it does assume some knowledge of Visual Basic, but we're going to go through what options are available to you in CAM 350. Um, first of all, I should mention that if you're an user of one of our older tools and you have the old style basic macros they still run and you'll run those from the tools ribbon and the play icon okay and then you can have a list here and of course if there's more of them you can still run those but with version 14.5 of cam 350 we went to a visual basic type macro language so if you're writing scripts or macros in the future, you would be writing those in Visual Basic, which is, as, as you might think, is more robust and more current. And that can be accessed from the Home ribbon and the Script Editor. If I go into the Script Editor, um, the first thing I would suggest is go to the Help section, and this is where you'll find our API. Okay, and you'll see where we've updated here, but this is going to describe all of our macro language here, our visual basic language, and the various things that you can do with it. Okay. As far as uh, the script editor, though, one of the nice capabilities of it is you can record a script. If I go to the script recorder, first of all, I'm going to give it a name. Let's just put it out here on the desktop for now. And basically, it's going to record my screen actions that I will do now. So whether it's importing data or doing something to that data or adding things, um, it will go ahead and record that for me. So for instance, just bringing in this uh, 2581 file and when I'm done I just hit stop and now I can open up that recorded script in the script editor okay and there's some setup options in there and then the script itself whatever commands you have done will show here and you can use this to help you create a script that you can use over and over you know of course it is a very robust language so you can add forms and uh, and different things to your script and uh, and then of course save that off for reuse now what I'm going to do now is actually show you a script that we created uh, that will load up a design, run the analysis, save off the design, and in the script. So essentially you're just running the analysis part so that somebody else maybe can pick this up and take a look at the results of the analysis later on. So we're just going to start from scratch here. I'm going to go to the script editor open up my script and I'm ready to run it now one thing you can also do in here there's debug options so you can set start and stops as you go through and try to debug a script so we'll we'll help you debug a script once you have created it but I'm just going to simply run this now. I'll let it run a little bit here in the video and then we'll skip to the end. But basically all it's going to do is, first of all, prompt me to load a design. And I'm just going to go out and grab a design here. And let's just go ahead and use one of our demo boards. So it's loading that script, and as soon as it's loaded, it's going to go ahead and 
use the default analysis checklist, which the user can specify. Now, of course, you could, in scripting language, prompt the user to pick an analysis checklist, but in this case, we're gonna use the default one. It's gonna run against this design. It's then going to save the results and save the design and exit the tool. I'm now gonna open up that design. And we can now go through and validate the results of the analysis. As you can see, the Air Explorer down here has a lot of results in it. And of course, clicking on an error will take you to an error or clicking on a chart will bring up our uh, histogram or error chart uh, for that particular error. I should point out that you can do this not only in CAM 350, but we also have the CAM view uh, database viewer. Um, so, uh, you could open up the results of that analysis in the free viewer. So again, maybe somebody else in your environment is responsible for validating the results of the analysis. Uh, they can do it without taking up uh, one of our licenses. But this is how you can write a script um, by using the macro recorder, modify that script. Maybe you need to use some of the uh, API features to modify that script and then run that script and then of course uh, deal with the results of that using the new Visual Basic options in CAM 350.